Danshui is an absolute tourist hotspot. It is super beautiful, but it's also a very historical place. It is really important for the history of Taiwan. So it's totally worth checking out, and we're gonna do this in this video. If you are interested in the best travel destinations in Taiwan, then this video is for you. Today, we are exploring Danshui in New Taipei City. We visit the most important landmarks, try the local food, and so much more. So let's go on a new travel adventure here in Taiwan. Hello and welcome back to the Traveling Queens YouTube channel. My name is Ferdinand and we are today here in Danshui, very close to Taipei City. In this video, we check out this absolute tourist hotspot that you have to see when you are in Taiwan. But this place is also really famous for its history. Before we travel back in time, let us start with some basics. Danshui literally means fresh water in Chinese and there is plenty of that over here. You have the Danshui River and you also have the Taiwan Strait right at your feet in this amazing place. Don't be confused, Danshui is the name of the river but it's also the name of the city next to Taipei. Today this area has a rather small population. But do not be fooled by that. Aboriginal Taiwanese have settled here for hundreds of years and due to its location by the sea, the area also quickly gained the attention by European sailors. Because Danshui is so huge and there are so many things to do, it is totally worth coming here several times. I was here the last time during New Year to watch the fireworks and it's so convenient to get here. I really come here like every few months just to hang out and I always find new things. Danshui is a great place to start your New Year celebrations because the fireworks here start fairly early. This allows you to be back at Taipei 101 or another place by midnight. But now let's go back to the summertime. The logistics are super easy. It's super convenient to get here. It is the last station of the Red Metro Line. Also, from Danshui, you can take a ferry to cross the river. Today, I will not go to Bali on the other side. Maybe that's something on my next trip when it's not so hot and not so busy. I am here on a Sunday and Sunday is of course one of the busier days to visit Dan Shui. However, there is still enough space and you can walk around, but there are a lot of people. Dan Shui is not a hidden gem. It is a well-known tourist hotspot. You should still visit this place because you can spend a full day over here or just a few hours and go for a little walk. In this video, you're gonna see Ferdinand walking a lot because it is a great place to do that. On the one hand, there's a really nice beach walk, but on the other hand, there's also so many things to discover. No, I am not going to the beach today. The nerd that I am, I would rather dive into the history of Taiwan. And there is a lot of that over here. Okay. Our first stop right now is the Fort Santo Domingo that we're gonna reach in a second. This place was built by the Spanish, it was their headquarter, it was destroyed by the Dutch, rebuilt by the Dutch and later used by the British and Americans before it was handed back to the Taiwanese people. It just takes a few minutes of walking to the fort and you have a great view as well, so you get an idea why people like this place so much. Now, I just bought my ticket for the fort and I just entered the fort ground. I'm now still at a lower level and now I have to walk all the way up. I'm already now sweating as hell. This is going to be a hard piece of work. The distance is actually not that long, but it just feels like it. The humidity really drains my energy, but I made it. So here we are. And we reached the fort. This place is an incredible important historical monument. This was the center of power for Taiwan during the years of colonization. It was first used by the Spanish and later used by the Dutch. In 1629, the Spanish established the first major non-Aboriginal settlement, including this fortress over here. 
northern Taiwan became a Spanish colony, but in 1642 the Spanish were kicked out of Taiwan by the Dutch, who then were also kicked out of Taiwan a few years later by Ko Xinga. And if you watch my Kinman videos, that name maybe rings a bell. A quick flag challenge for you guys. Do you recognize the flags behind me? I am of course talking about these two flags. The first flag belongs to the kingdom of Tungning. The second flag belongs to the Qing dynasty, which took over Taiwan in 1683. Wow! A few years after the takeover, they leased this place to the British government, which used it as a consulate for a while. Due to Japan's takeover of Taiwan and World War II, the fort was closed for a short period, then managed by the US and later by Australia. Now it's back under Taiwan's control. You can find all of this information and more in this museum. And I am out of the fort again. Unfortunately, there is no air conditioning and I am still super hot. However, this place was awesome, but it's also time to move on. Before we go, just a small comment about dealing with the heat. The British had the genius idea of equipping all rooms with chimneys. But enough history for now, it is time to get some food. It is way too hot to get some hot food. And the German that I am, I'm really craving for some bread. So we're gonna get some banh mi in a Vietnamese restaurant. This looks delicious. Banh mi is also a common street food, but I really wanted to find a place with air conditioning. This will give me the energy for some more walking. So let's go to our next destination, the old street of Dan Shui. Dan Shui Old Street is an absolute tourist hotspot. People from all around the world are here. There is many restaurants, there's arcades and all kind of shops. It's a pretty good place to visit, but be ready for meeting a lot of people. As I mentioned, it is a Sunday in the summer. It was busier here during Chinese New Year, but the place is quite spacious and the transportation is just great. So there's enough space for everyone. And while we are walking through here, please do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. In the old street you find all kinds of shops. Of course, a lot of food and drinks, we are in Taiwan after all, but there's also other things to discover. Anyway, I really need to take a break. This is all getting a bit too much for me, so it is time to move on to an area that is not so crowded. It is a late afternoon on a Sunday and I spend half the day running around. If you watched my other videos, you already know where I'm heading right now. This video is only a few minutes long and it is incredible hot, but if you think I last that long without alcohol, you better think again. So of course we have to go to a bar and have a beer. Cheers. In my last video about going out in Taiwan, I was in Songshan and I mentioned that beers in bars are not cheap over here. However, this one is totally worth it. And with that, I think it is time to call it a day. So the sun almost disappeared and it's time to wrap things up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you like this video. If you do, please hit that like button. And otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.